YouTube, it's Thea, and this is going to be my July TBR. I am so excited for my July TBR. I am participating in a month-long readathon called the Book Junkie Tribe. So basically, it's this month-long readathon that's taking place the entire month of July. There is a personality test that you can go to uh, take, and then depending on the, the results, put you in one of the four teams. I don't remember all the teams. I am Team Magi. I am so excited. It is this, like crazy detailed readathon that um, is hosted by Rachel Marie. I will link her channel down below, her announcement video. She describes it in full detail. There is a map and prompts that go along with each location on a map and your team's goal is to make it to the bookie grail. And um, it's this, it's, it's, check out the video. It's so cool. It's like one of the most detailed readathons I have ever seen. And I am so excited to work, be participating. I am Team Magi. I'm so excited for all four of these prompts. So I will really quickly go through what the prompts are and then what I'm going to be reading for each of them. And then again, I will have all of their, all the information down below in the description box. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive right in. So basically there are four sections of the map where we have to, where the team Magi have to visit, the fifth one being where everybody ends up. The first location that we're going to be visiting on our quest for the Boogie Grail is the or is Orc Grove, which is a book that is gory, gritty, or gruesome. I am picking up And I Darkened by Kirsten White because I've heard that this book is kind of brutal, kind of gritty and gruesome and gory, um, but I'm really excited to read it. It's a gender-swapped uh, retelling of Vlad the Impaler. Um, I honestly don't much more I honestly don't know much more about it than that. I actually met Kirsten this earlier this year at my book festival. I've kind of been looking for an excuse to pick this up. This readathon is a perfect opportunity, so I am so excited to read this. Once I finish uh, visiting the Orc Grove, I then we then move on to Old Pirate Cove. Read a book that takes place at least in part on sea. And for this challenge, I'm actually going to be picking up The Legend of Luke. This is a, one of the books in the really long Redwall series. Um, I honestly don't know much about this particular book. Um, we've been kind of slowly, my boyfriend read the Redwall series growing up. He's really enjoyed it, so I've been trying to kind of pick up some of the novels that he really liked. This basically um, follows Martin the Warrior as he embarks on a perilous journey to the Northland Shore to trace his his, his, his to trace his, his historic legacy, the legacy exploits of his father, Luke. So um, it's an adventure, it takes place on the sea, and um, I feel like this will be a really fast paced read because it's kind of middle grade Y-ish, A, uh, YA-ish fantasy, um, and there are pictures throughout it, and the font's pretty big, so I think that these are, and these are pretty fast paced reads, so I'm really excited to pick this up successfully mastered Old Pirate Cove, we make our way down to the Island of Glitter, which is to read a book that is a beautiful book, or pure, which is to blend in with the beautiful island and to read a book that is beautiful or uh, colorful or beautiful cover. So for that, I'm picking up The Never Ending Story. I love this cover. I just think it's an absolutely beautiful cover and it is very colorful. It's got a lot of different colors on it. I have been itching for a reread of something this year. I haven't really thought. Um, I've been itching, I've been itching for a reread of something this year. I figured this was the perfect opportunity. I actually got this book um, in my Blue Spider Books um, um, a subscription service that I had and I haven't read this book in so long and so I figured this would be the perfect opportunity to pick it up. Um, since I do already know the story, I feel like it'll be a pretty fast-paced read, so I'm really excited to pick this up. We have um, succeeded in our visit of the Island of Glitter. They when we then make our way to the Draconic Isles, where we have to read a book featuring dragons. I am so excited. I love dragons. I'm so excited for this prompt. Um, the book that I am going to be, the book that I'm going to be reading for this prompt is A Natural History of Dragons, a memoir by Lady Trent by Marie Brennan. I actually had another book that I was originally going to read, but um, this actually came in a recommendations video for books that feature dragons, and I actually had it on my TBR for quite a while and honestly forgot about it until recently, and this just like called out to me to read for this challenge, and I am so excited to read this. Um, and it's not super long. It's like, 
Um, it's not super long, it's like just under 400 pages, so I don't think it'll take too long to read. Um, there are some, you know, drawings with, throughout it as well, and the font's pretty big, so I'm really, really excited to dive into this. Once we've battled the dragons and the Draconic Isles, we make our way to the quest for the Boogie Grail, which is to basically read the group book, and for, and which is basically to read the group book, and that is Stardust by Neil Gaiman. Um, I actually have already read this, however, the other option was to read a book that is like a quest for a lost thing, but I am going to reread Stardust because it's been a long time since I've read it and I am kind of obsessed with Neil Gaiman right now. I'm working because I just recently read um, Good Omens, we're watching the series, I love Neil Gaiman's writing style, so I decided I'm going to stick with this and uh, pick this up as a reread. And this edition won't take very long either because I know the story. It has pictures throughout and the font's pretty big, so it won't take super long to power through this either. And that's it. Those are the five prompts that we have to read for the Boogie Grails. I am so excited to declare my TBR for Team Magi, Mad Team Magi for the win. Um, there are two other things that go along with this readathon. Each team has a weakness and each team has a strength. Our strength is, as Magi, we get to bend time and it deals, we deal with time travel, so we get to start three days early picking. So I am so excited to start early and get a little bit of a boost. Our, our challenge, and then our weakness is one of our spell, one of our spells go awry. So we have to read a book out of our comfort zone. Originally, I was going to read one of these, like outside because my comfort zone is inside in my bed or on a couch um, but I actually decided I'm going to push myself to read another book and so I'm going to pick up Nevernight by Jay Kristoff because this book is way outside of my comfort zone. I tried so hard to get into this book last year and um, it just was not something that I am used to reading as far as it being like a really dark um, YA kind of, but it's I feel like it's more almost more of an adult fantasy um, that's just really dark and gruesome, and I don't read a lot of dark fantasy, so this is definitely something outside of my comfort zone. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and pick this up as our weakness. My July TBR, also my Bookie Trials TBR or Bookish uh, or the Book Junkie Trials TBR. Um, I am so excited. This readathon is exactly what I need to get out of my slump, um, and I am so excited to read all of these books. Everything on here is backlog backlist titles that I've been wanting to get to, so I am so excited for July. Let me know down in the comments below if you've read any of these, if you have any thoughts, comments, and opinions about them. Are you participating in the Book Junkie Trials? If you are, what team are you? I'd love to chat about it in the comments down below. And if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe to get notified if I post new videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're having a great day. Happy reading, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!